Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. I got into tractor collecting with my dad. We lived about uh, 20 miles from the Keck Gonderman plant in Mount Vernon, Indiana. My grandfather uh, worked on a steam engine, Keck steam engine and separator uh, as a young man. And so when we started uh, deciding to collect tractors, we went with the Keck Gonderman tractor. Uh, that was probably in about 1980. The first tractor was a Keck Gonderman 2550 or the Model ZW. Keck Gonderman was uh, founded by a, a, a couple of German men and uh, they initially started in making flatware, silverware, that type of thing in a foundry uh, outside of Evansville, Indiana. They eventually moved to Mount Vernon, Indiana where they uh, got into uh, producing steam engines, uh, water wagons, agricultural uh, equipment, mining equipment, uh, sawmill equipment, and uh, then uh, in the uh, 1920s, about 29, they started in making the first tractors. The one that we're standing next to right now, the, this tractor is a uh, Keck Gonderman Model N. It's a 3060 horsepower tractor uh, used uh, mostly in belt work. They did use them as a plowing tractor to some degree, but they ran sawmills, uh, th separators, threshing machines, and uh, other uh, uh, things that uh, required belt work. This particular tractor ran a rock crusher at one point, ran a sawmill at one point. They built about 55 of the ends like this one. We think there's about, oh, about half of those that are still out uh, in collectors' hands. Keck Gonerman was a short line company and at that point in time there was a lot of uh, competition uh, with other tractor companies. They were a pretty high priced tractor at that time so that's probably the reason that they made so few. This tractor uh, is, uh, came with a uh, factory canopy. There's very few factory canopies uh, in existence on tractors. The tractor was set up for a start on the bell housing. About three tractors were uh, shipped from the factory with the starter on it and light system. Uh, came with a dual starting system, mag and electric. And uh, it's an excellent condition. When we restored this tractor, um, it, uh, it was an easy restoration. There wasn't a lot of things in it that was uh, damaged and we didn't have to re uh, rebuild a lot of things. So it's a, a very solid uh, probably one of the better tech tractors out there. We restored this tractor in, in about a year's time. Um, the, the, the main problems that we had is uh, finding a ring gear that we could put on it because we did convert it to electric start and finding the proper starter to fit that ring gear and the, and the bell housing. Keck Gonneman purchased their engines from uh, short line manufacturers. This particular engine was uh, sold by uh, Leroy Manufacturing in the 2550, they used a Waukesha engine, and in the um, 1835, they used a Buda engine. And uh, so they, they purchased their, their engines, but the rest of the tractor they cast um, uh, in their foundry. I acquired this uh, tractor from a family out of the Quincy, Illinois area. It was uh, in really good shape. The, the hardest thing to, to make a decision on when I started restoring this tractor was whether to, to uh, give it a ground up restoration and repaint it or leave it original. We, we fought that war a long time and decided finally to repaint it. Uh, right, wrong, or indifferent. The failings of uh, the Keck Gonneman in the 3060 was uh, the, the rear end, the casting in the rear end. Um, the bull gears and everything were really uh, stout, but the casting itself, uh, so when you put it on a, on a, a really heavy pull with a plow or something like that, uh, that, uh, that casting could break. So that was the weak part. But you put that thing on a belt pulley and uh, she'd, uh, she'd run circles around pretty much everything out there. When we get these tractors um, restored and, and up and running good, they will pull 70, 75 horses. Uh, on a belt. They were way, way underrated for what they would do. My favorite thing about the tractor is, is that we restored it from ground up and, uh, and got a lot, we've got about a year's labor into it and that's what makes it uh, rewarding. We've been doing this for 30 some odd years and uh, so decided that uh, 
and we just let someone else enjoy our tractors. What are we going to give on the 3060 kick? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the auction's on. Hey, look at there, how many dollars on her? 50,000. Hey, 50,000, be a bit of 50, liberty, 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 Well, 25 now, 30,000, be a 25 here, but you get 30,000, be a bit of 30, liberty, liberty, 35, 35, 5, 5, 30,000, be a bit of 35, 30,000, be a bit of 35,000. Now, Ford, what'd you say? 40,000 now, 45, 45, 45, 45, 40,000, but you get 45, 40,000, but you get 45,000, 45,000, 40,000, but you get 45, 55,000, but you get 57, 5, 55,000, but you get 57, 5, 55,000 bid, 57, 5, 55,000 bid now, 57, 5, 57, 5, 55,000, but you get 57, 5, 55,000, but you get 57, 5, 57, 5, 5, 5, I have sold it.